Hello everyone. This is just a quick tutorial on how to use these Valentine's photo cards. See we've got the card open uh, in Photoshop. This is CS5 but it should work uh, going way back. You notice down here in the layers panel we have two layers. We have the bottom layer and the top layer called image. If you don't have the layers panel up, it's under window right here layers that will bring it open. You want to start out with your photo card opened and a picture. I'm just going to hit command A on the Mac, it's control A on the PC or you can come up here and choose edit or sorry select all right here. Now I'm going to choose, you can either choose copy or just hit command C on the Mac, control C on the PC. So I'm going to hit command C and come back to my photo card layer. Now with the move tool, the arrow, so I don't think it really matters, but I always use the move tool. Come down to your layers panel right down here and hold down the command key on the Mac or the control key on the PC and click. What that does is makes a selection here. Now since we've already copied our image you can come under edit paste into and on newer versions it says paste special on older ones it's just right there paste into and you'll see it's too big the image is too big and it made a new layer on top if your image looks like this you just need to click and drag this layer up above the other layer we don't need this layer at this point anymore it's just a placeholder so you can turn that layer off by clicking the eyeball. So with this layer selected you can hit command T on the Mac or control T on the PC and that is uh, free transform and you can see this is where our image is. Now this image happens to be crop the right size. As you drag hold down the shift key and that will keep everything proportionate and you just drag it to where you like it and when you're done you think everything's good hit return there you go so this over here is a layer mask you can move the image underneath it if you want to type in your uh, your thing if you're just doing one you could go ahead and add some type right here but most of the time you want to print some of these out and just write on them with a marker and you've got personalized Valentine's Day photo cards from Corey Adams Photography. These are 4x6's so I would just save as a JPEG now and take them to uh, your, your local printer or send them out to your inkjet printer you have at home and print yourself out some 4x6 Valentine's Day photo cards. Thanks for watching today. Be sure and like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter for more free stuff and fun updates.